my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. Hey, no matter who you talk to, who's a master of anything, I just saw, the reason why I'm, am I making this video is because I saw Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's a master at something completely different than, than, than we are. He, he won the Mr. Universe contest uh, like seven times in a row. Um, but he's, he was just talking about a principle that's so common to every single master at anything, and that is the ability and the willingness to focus on the basics, right? Those, and why do we call them basics? Because they influence every other aspect of what we do. You know, those core principles, those core things, that picking technique, you know, being able to do those fundamental things that really enable you to do all that magic, right? So it's the core things. And if you look at, and he said like, you know, in his ever very Austrian English, he, he talked about the basic exercises, the bench press, the flies, the stuff he does, right? That most people don't want to do that anymore. Um, and I heard Stanley Jordan talk about some of the same things, you know, the ability to just do a thousand three throws, even though you can do them all and you don't make a mistake, just that, that willingness to just pound away and hammer away at the basics until you're absolutely so good at it, like it's breathing out and breathing in, right? It's effortless completely. And then you go back and do some more, right? Um, and if you look at martial arts, for instance, you can't find a black belt, karate, taekwondo, whatever you look at, who, I who isn't focused on that as well. You know, th those, those basics. And if you look at, you know, most people when they practice anything, the intuitive way of going about it is going from thing to thing, right? We look into something, then we take it to good, then we look into something new, then we practice it a little bit, then it becomes boring. We even do that in our practice sessions. When we're totally undisciplined, we, we don't have any idea what we're doing, we take up something, right? We start practicing something. Right, and we play it, and then you know, two, three, four minutes goes by, and then it gets boring. We don't want to do it anymore, so we move on to something else. That's what ha that happens to me when I don't have a plan for what I'm doing, and I think I've been practicing that for 15 minutes because that's how it feels. But really, it was two minutes, right? So, so it's in everything when you practice, and if you can infuse your practice sessions and your uh, and your whole system with that principle of staying with something long enough until you master it and returning to it again, because it's not just a matter of taking, you know, three notes on one string and then practicing them forever. It's also the constant willingness to go back and practice what you've already practiced, right? To take it to that level where it's totally effortless. Also, if you look at many of the guitar masters out there, if you look at their playing style, and, and you pick it apart and say, how many sequences does he really use? How many patterns does he really use? How many different phrasing techniques? It, there aren't that many in most people's styles of playing. But what there is in there is just mastered to the, you know, and you can look into something like, you know, Ingvi Malmsteen, for instance, he, he, you know, or B.B. King, totally other end of the spectrum. And it's the same thing that goes there, you know, a few tools and I'm not meaning in any bad way, it's just a matter of fact that you, you find what really works for you and then you become so good at it that like it sounds like magic, right? Because you, you can do all kinds of things as you do it. But that willingness to return to the, and what are the basics basically, right? It's being able to play those chords. It's being able to hammer that rhythm in like. Right, and just, you know, relentlessly returning to rhythm, being even better at it, relentlessly returning to chords, you know, doing new structures and, you know, and practicing the chords you already know at an even higher level, returning to picking, returning to the basics, to that pentatonic freaking scale again, you know, practicing those cage shapes. Get back in there, right? Get into the core and move out from there. 
and, and be willing to really focus on it because that's what takes you to mastery. Everyone else is just looking for that new hot thing, right? While you can, you, you, because you know how important the fundamental stuff is and what it, or what it does for your playing and where it takes you, you're excited about that because you understand how this works. Instead of being just, you know, randomly engaged in guitar practicing, knowing nothing about what goes on and how to reach the level you want to reach, then you know that focusing on the fundamentals, on what really works, right? That's where you want to be most of your time. And then you, you, know, you go around looking for other things that you can include in your, in, in your enthusiastic practice schedule, right? But focus on the basics, focus on the, uh, on the fundamentals. Be willing to do that exercise again. You know, slow it down and get it even more accurate. And feel the precision, the added control you get from doing that, right? And it's so, such a luxury practicing like that. What, practicing something you're good at already because you can get in so many repetitions so fast because you can actually play it at a high level, right? So you're over the, right? And now you can really get in some repetitions and get some certainty and some, right, in there by returning to it and just hammering away at it again. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.